Hello there. Welcome to Life Go Solutions and of course, welcome back to my channel guys. It has been a total shutdown of my inner self in the last 3 weeks and for that reason I was not in the frame of mind to come to you as my heart desired. Nothing to blame but myself and it stems from the same battles that we all face in this journey of life through the 125 steps of ascension back to the worlds from where we descended to this third density basement. Therefore, please bear with me. Today's topic is, I suppose, one of the most emotional, important, of course, emotional factors that are as old as time itself and one that messed up the purpose of human speaking degree of existence and as a consequence affected our understanding of the true meaning of life as it also today affecting our collective perception of reality. It is titled Fear, the Oldest Human Emotion. As is customary with me, I asked Google what fear means. Of all the definitions online, this particular definition caught my attention and in the context of the lines of thoughts born out of personal experiences that gave birth to this discussion, Google defined it as, and I quote, fear is a natural, powerful, and primitive human emotion. It involves a universal biochemical response as well as a high individual emotional response. Fear allows us to the presence of danger or the threat of harm, whether that danger is physical or psychological, unquote. Going by the above definition, one can deduce that it covers nearly everything in human and general terms. But let us peel away some other layers to expose the depth of this oldest human emotion. This is to connect it to human suffering in all of its ramifications. Most human emotional suffering takes root in this emotional monster called fear and like a shadow. It hangs on the mental consciousness of most people, giving rise to different classifications of fear. Fear of poverty, for example, fear of loss of loved ones, fear of accident, fear of ill health, fear of what others may say about you or myself, fear of death, and the list is almost endless. It is common knowledge that these different types of fears that reside in our emotional storage chambers are responsible for every undesirous situation we face in our different lives. The biblical drama in the book of Job, chapter 3, verse 25, is exactly and most importantly, psychologically talking about this self-imposed state of being and I quote, For the thing which I greatly fear comes upon me and that of which I am afraid befalls me." Unquote. Careful self-observation of the above verse will confirm it as I have personally lived through this reality firsthand to make such indisputable assertions. Let us take on the one called fear of poverty. This one may be qualified as the mother of all fear since it has to do with human basic needs and their provision. The predominant systems of the world created systems that make provision of human basic needs survival of the fittest, instead of human basic rights. This failure created that need to fear about what to eat, what to wear, and where to lay one's head. If you conquer the fear of poverty, you conquer almost all deplorable human conditions. If we go on to treat the different types of fears mentioned already, it would defeat the purpose of this episode, which is simply to encourage us to do away with fear, no matter the form it takes in our lives in real times. The question that may spring up at this juncture is, what has fear in the literal sense of it got to do with a person's ability to manifest his or her desires? The answer that I may suggest is equally simple. Whatever we fear comes to us and in the end keep us unfulfilled mentally and physically. Now, let us try to proffer solution to some, I mean, solution of some kind that forms, I believe, the bedrock of the intention behind this episode. And to do that, we must connect love to the equation. And by this, I mean, connect the love of others. The first connection in suggesting a solution for fear is love. According to Very Well Mind, and I quote, love 
is a set of emotions and behaviors characterized by intimacy, passion, and commitment. It involves care, closeness, protectiveness, attraction, affection, and trust. It is associated with a range of positive emotions, including happiness, excitement, life satisfaction, and euphoria. But it can also result in negative emotions such as jealousy and stress. The just stated definition of love says it all. Let us add another layer to portray how love solves the problem of the emotional monster called fear. That layer is that love enables us to forget the past since, I believe, the fear that fear comes from bottled up emotions from past experiences and negative thoughts. Our today's realities are a combination of our past thought forms and our future experiences in the physical will be products of our thoughts of today. If we can do away with grudges of the past and embark on positive emotions as defined already, we automatically attract good things from the universe. When such good things are positive emotions, including happiness, excitement, life satisfaction, are attracted, fear departs. It's a must. That is also why I believe that everything still boils down to human basic needs. Lack of it is responsible for the greatest of all fears, which are that of poverty. As much as the saying goes that money cannot buy happiness, at the same time, without human basic needs provided by money, happiness and excitement would be far-fetched. When the love of self and love of others and her fruits of happiness and excitement is lacking, fear definitely takes over, leading to negative thought patterns that are reciprocated in our physical situations by the subconscious mind. Remember, whatever we fear is attracted to us simply because the subconscious mind recognize only, recognizes only feelings and with fear being an emotional feeling, it means that whatever we fear is brought about in our realities. Therefore, to round up this short one, my opinion and earnest suggestions are for us to understand that fear, no matter the form it takes, including the ultimate fear of death, is just a negative feeling that can be countered with positiveness, hope, and above all, purpose in life. This makes human life purpose a subject of future discussion because without purpose in life, that type of happiness which the saying goes that money cannot buy will be practically impossible. Without a purpose in life, self-fulfillment, hope, and faith in our dreams would be basically impossible. Consequently, without these, fear definitely takes over. I leave the rest to your imagination in the context of the content of this discussion. And with that, we come to the very end of this short episode under my Mind Master Series. It is my sincere desire that the purpose and intention behind this episode titled Fear the oldest human emotion get to you positively. And may the light of the upper world that surrounds be with us all till I come back to you in my next episode. Till then, thanks for listening, liking, commenting, and sharing, and of course, subscribing to my channel. Do not forget to use the bell button for notifications. This is Mike of the Life Goal Solutions and of the MikeMbadiwa.com signing off from here, and we'll come back to you in my next episode. From me, from here, it's good luck.